We're on match point here. Epic has already knocked down three members of Psionic Aftermath. And uh, they've brought forth yet another Protoss uh, mm. to try and turn the tables. Uh, right. No doubt in my mind that we're going to see another two base tank push. What do you think? Yeah, you know, if it ain't broke, uh, don't fix it. Wait, is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah, I just I just made a Korean guy say the word ain't. I feel like that's an accomplishment. <laughs> that's how it goes. But yeah, if, if the tank push is working, you know, why bother trying to fix it, right? Uh, yeah. But really, after two Protosses going down the line, I really hope that the Psionic Aftermath has come up with a proper counter. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know what uh, what would a Protoss counter to a two base tank push look like unless you just hit them with aggression that hits earlier before the tanks are out. Right. The usually the usual one I see from coming from pro players because innovation does this kind of tank style push a lot, and lately Ty has been too. The proper way to do it it would be to make some adepts and intercept them early on. You can still do it with a Colossi. And if the Terran player doesn't focus fire the Colossi, the Colossi will melt down the Marines and the adepts can get close to the tanks. And if it just doesn't anchor down properly, it can do a pretty good job. But uh, here we gotta <laughs> introduce the players fast because we seem to have a proxy. All right, spawning at the bottom right and also in between our Protoss players, natural and third base, it is the blue Terran for Psystorm Gaming. It is epic. Okay. Yep, that's the proxy. But, um, yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, spawning in the top left is from Psionic Aftermath Kingslayer. Will he be able to defeat the domination of epic? So, right here we see, uh, <laughs> okay, so. Here we see a Cyclone Proxy, and this is a pretty powerful build. It's really good if you could have some pylons in the main base. I mean, in front of the natural, so you could use that overcharge. But it seems that it's actually going for an overcharge on the factory itself. I'm not sure if this is too good, because you can just fly down the uh, factory to elsewhere, and these pylons would be useless. All right, so this would happen. Yeah, yeah, Jordan. Uh, any thoughts on this? Yeah, no, sorry. I'm Probably just, not. I'm just kind of like in on sitting here watching mouth the gape. Uh, I did, just expected for Epic to go for the same thing. No, I know. I don't understand why he would have changed it up in this game. I mean, it, it, the wins have been pretty clean in the last three games. So. Right. Oh my God, the motion core going down. Oh, oh it's so it close. Lit. Twelve HP. That would have been such a huge pickoff. Uh, but there's already two Cyclones, those forward pylons are going down. Uh, the bunker actually completed. I know that the, the death was preventing that for a little while. And there's yeah. nothing down here to kill the natural. Is this going to be the fastest Hope Team League match <laughs> cast? <laughs> well, if it lasts longer than five minutes and five seconds, then it won't be. But <laughs> which was the last matchup? But yeah, you uh, he should have pulled the probes to intercept that bunker, like stop that bunker from finishing, in my opinion. And of course, uh, pylons placed in front of the natural would be better because the factory still lives and it's not even burning. <laughs> yeah, he's actually moving it forward to, to prevent a natural uh, from going down for Kingslayer, even if this bush is batted away. And I think these adepts, yeah, they're just going to go across. They're going to be like, yeah, you're not going to have enough at home to really take care of this. Yeah, it doesn't really. He doesn't really have to bother because one cyclone it deals a lot of firepower, and with these adepts doing no bonus damage, uh, it's okay. But here we see some micro action happening down in the middle of the map. Uh, after, yeah. So, w yeah. So it wasn't caught on screen, but with the appropriate mac uh, micro, he was able to save two adepts. Uh, actually, usually uh, it does a lot more damage by itself. The cyclone. Yeah, I saw that. And it looked like those units were going to head across the map, and now they're coming all the way back home to uh, handle this. And yeah, a, a Stalker goes down. Ooh, Every Stalker is so well, important. just might have enough. And that is uh, that is great news, because uh, I don't like domination in team leagues or in anywhere. We get to see more of this, and that is a good thing for me. Yeah, I can't tell if that Widow Mine is blocking the natural, but if it is, that'd be absolutely huge. <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, uh, Protoss players have two choices. He already made the four, four gateway, so he could do like a, pretty much a one base attack all in. 
What would like really help is possibly the warp prism, but with the three wrecks already up on the way and the, the two bunkers, it seems that this... Uh, he has to make a decision fast if he's going to go for a macro or for an all-in. Uh, it looks, looks like it's going to be for an all-in with the stalkers, but... Seems like Epic can just hold right here. Yeah, but he's got to... He's got to... He's got to have both of those bunkers if he helps to hold here with just Marines, because producing behind this is just Bio. He doesn't have a starport yet. It's only just now about to finish up. Stim is still a long ways away, so these bunkers are all that's standing between him and the end of the game. Right, oh, Kingslayer really has to micro that stalker. Every individual unit is so important right here. Oh, and if he can get the force fields on the Ed bunkers to prevent the SCB from repairing, that would be great, but uh, that would be GG. Just too much damage was done early, and it was a good, solid defense from Epic. That was a game. Uh, that was indeed a game. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean. In today's game, it was just uh, Epic doing his one man army thing, beating Psionic Aftermath single handedly. Yeah. Congratulations to the winning team. Yeah, congratulations to Sidestorm as a caster. Hate to see all kills. I'd love for every every series to go to a best of seven, but uh, Epic had other plans. He has demonstrated his skill in StarCraft by being flexible with the different builds, and being able to cheese, and being able to play. Uh, he had a lot of different strength, and that was ultimately what led to the domination in this matchup, I think. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.